Hi, good morning. So today let us see how to construct a diagonal scale and what is the purpose of the diagonal scale and what is the procedure to construct the diagonal scale. So first of all let us know what is a diagonal scale. So now go for it. So we have seen that the plane scale has given only two dimensions such as a unit and its subunit and its fractions. Okay, here that can tell an example of 5.6 centimeters or 5.6 meters. So here in the plane scale we are only taking a one numerical value after the decimal point. So now in case of diagonal scale, the diagonal scale give us three successive dimensions that is a unit and a subunit and a subdivision of subunit, subdivision of subunit. So let us take a meter as a unit, meter as a unit. What is the subunit of meter? That is decimeter. Okay, decimeter, what is the sub, subdivision of subunit? That is decimeter subunit is nothing but centimeter. So, if we go for diagonal scale, we can pictureize three dimensional units. That is unit, subunit and subdivision of subunit. So, meters, decimeters and centimeters we can show. Suppose kilometers is there. Kilometer is a unit, hectometer is a subunit and decameter is a subdivision of decimeters okay so decameters so like that we can read up to three units that is 5.66 kilometers suppose if 5.6 kilometers there we can simply read it out with the plane scale suppose 5.66 kilometers is there we cannot read it with the plane scale such that we employ the diagonal scale so what will be the construction procedure and how the diagonal scales are formed so right, so here you can see the principal construction of a diagonal scale is as follows. Let us take a figure that is x, y in the figure of subunit and y draw from y draw a perpendicular line that is yz to suitable height, any height. Join xz, divide the yz into 10 equal parts. So you can see the picture here. So draw a line that is subunit. Okay. Next, next coming to a perpendicular line, okay, and uh, connect to this uh, diagonal line that is y z. So x you can see y, and this is z, and give the numbering from y to z that is different number of equal parts that is 10 equal number of parts okay and next coming to this one draw the parallel lines to the x y from 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 so now you can see the triangle x y z is similarly to x1 and this one that is let us take this is 1 1 dash 2 2 dash 3 like this okay now x y z is similar to that of z1 1, 1 dash and z2 2, 2 dash and this one is the one tenth part of this triangle so what is the triangle right angle triangle x y z right is that is a one tenth of z one one dash so you can see clearly clearly one tenth means this is one by ten is nothing but zero point zero one so similarly one one dash is equal to zero point one of x y so similarly what will be this division suppose if you take this one as one centimeter this one will be one millimeter okay that is nothing but one tenth of the unit okay right by this uh, we can go to another topic that is a problem okay so you can see here the problem is given here the distance between Delhi and Agra is 200 kilometers in a rail map it is represented by a line of uh, 5 centimeters long okay find its RF that is a representative factor draw the diagonal scale to show a single kilometer so that is maximum distance is to be shown as single kilometer in the single one 
and a maximum up to 600 kilometers that is the maximum length of the scale should be 600 kilometers indicate the following distances on it that is 222 kilometers 336 kilometers uh, 459 kilometers and 569 kilometers to be shown on a diagonal scale so now what is the construction procedure let us see what happens okay and now now what are the steps first step solution is you have to find out the representative factor rf is equal to that is 5 centimeters what is that 5 centimeters because you are showing the 200 kilometers radius as 5 centimeters okay delhi to agra is 200 kilometers in a railway map it is showing as a 5 centimeters so 5 centimeters divided by 200 kilometers that gives rise to 1 divided by 4 lakhs that is uh, okay 4 double zero double zero triple zero okay that is kilometers to be uh, converted into centimeters that is equal to 200 into 10 to the power of 5 gets in cancellation you can calculate that our representative factor would be given as 1 by 4 triple zero triple zero right and find out the length of the scale so what will be the length of the scale so length of the scale is nothing but the representation factor into the maximum distance to be found so what is the representative factor that you can know 1 1 divided by 4 triple zero triple zero into 600 kilometers is a maximum distance so 600 into 10 to the power of 5 this kilometer is going to change into terms of centimeters that is 10 to the power of 5 okay so that is nothing but this five zeros will be cancelled in this five that is nothing but you will get the answer as 15 centimeters as a length of the scale so now you have to draw you have to draw the total length of the scale as 15 centimeters okay so after drawing it as 15 centimeters okay it will represent 600 draw a line of 15 centimeters long it will represent 600 kilometers divide the line into six equal parts each equal each will represent 100 kilometers okay divide the first division into 10 equal parts each will represent 10 kilometers draw a line upward so you can see the construction procedure i will show you okay so now this is a 15 centimeters line after that so put the first division you know already it is zero first division of this point put it is zero and now is six equal divisions are there for the first one division 100 kilometers next 200 300 400 and 500 and this one the left hand side of zero is 100 kilometers so now the left hand side part is to be divided into 10 equal parts okay so this 10 equal parts represents each individual division represents 10 kilometers because 0 to 100 it is representing 100 kilometers so each subdivision part implies 10 kilometers so from that you can have a vertical line from 100 okay vertical line from 100 and complete the box okay so such that you can draw a lines okay from that what you do is just from 0 draw a line perpendicular 100 200 300 400 so from this you have to complete all the vertical lines then next you draw the horizontal lines that is 10 different divisions because you are going to divide 10 equal parts here that is 10 10 kilometers and 10 equal parts on the height such that one equal part indicates 1 1 kilometer so here this is 100 kilometers this is 10 kilometers and this is 1 kilometer okay so now represent this is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 10 okay so after that take this point 9 at the end point and join to the last point as 10 okay right so now so this is the ninth point and join to the tenth point so after drawing this joining this ninth point to the tenth point you put your drafter scale parallel to this one and draw the parallel lines with respect to all these points okay so like this from 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 and from 0 also okay now this particular one represents this is 0.1 kilometer 0 0.2 0 0.3 0 0.4 0 0.5 0 0.6 like that because one division one part this indicates that of that is one tenth of the 
unit okay one tenth of the unit like that now after drawing all these constructions now we have to find out what we have to show the first one is 222 kilometers second one is 336 kilometers Set third one 459 and 569 so let us see how to construct this how to show on a diagonal scale so first we have to represent this one on this uh, diagonal scale that is a representative factor okay then next you put a point here that is which point one fifth one sixth one six this is nine okay 69 so what is 69 here the next put a point here and draw a line and this is 500 okay light 569 so this one is 500 and this one is a 6 and it is a part of 9 kilometers so that is 69 is here and this is 500 so that simply gives to 569 kilometers and we'll go for the next this is 400 kilometers okay line and 50 so this is a 50 and we have to locate the last unit that is 9 so that is 59 so draw a line here and you can represent this line by dimension line that is 459 kilometers and let us go for another one that is 336 kilometers this is 300 and this is 30 and 6 is here okay so this is here okay 36 so now draw a line just represent a dimension line and name it as uh, 336 kilometers on the dimension line next 222 two, two. so now you draw a line from 200 and next where is 2 this is 0 this is 1 this is 2 and where is 2 so here this is 2 so you can put a mark on 2 and draw a line here so this represents 222 kilometers so this is how to draw the diagonal scale and to represent any number of any number of between the range of 0 to 600 kilometers any range so this 222 is divided into 200 plus 20 plus 2 so 200 is represented right side of 0 and uh, 20 is represent, represented to the left hand side of the 0 okay and 2 is represented towards upper scale that is a vertical scale of 2 that is a subdivision of subunit okay so by this you can uh, easily construct uh, the number of divisions so that is subdivisions divisions and subdivisions of the units also it is represented by the dimension scale so you have to clearly remember that one thing on a dimensional scale scale when a numericals after the decimal is if two numbers are there simply you can go for the dimension line so if the procedure is lengthy then another construction method procedure like vernier scale retarder vernier scale is also there so whatever it is useful and flexible that you have to go for that particular method so simple thing a numeric value is single after the decimal you will go for plain scale if a numerical values after the decimal is 2 then you will go for diagonal scale this is the very best method to solve the scales right thank you